Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Ticky, and in this video, we're going to learn JavaScript variables. So a variable is used to store some kind of information. And in order to declare a variable in JavaScript, we use the keyword let, followed by the variable name, and end the statement with a semicolon. And that's how easy it is to declare a variable in JavaScript. Now, once we have the name of the variable and the variable has been declared, we can then assign a value to the variable using an equal operator. So we first state the variable name, then we use the equal operator, and then we can assign some kind of a value to our variable. In this case, it's a string type uh, value, which is love. So now we have assigned a value to the variable. And uh, if we go ahead and print out force, which is our variable name, we're going to get love, which is the value of our variable. We can also declare and assign a value to the variable in one line. So we could say let planet equals earth. So that will declare and assign the value earth to the variable planet. We could also declare variables in one line. So we could say let name equals clever techie. And then we would separate it by a comma and we can declare and assign a value to another variable. We could say age equals 35. And then another one, job YouTube. But this way is actually not recommended because it makes it a little bit more harder to read. So we should always um, declare and assign variables on a separate line like this instead. Let age equals 35. Let job equals YouTube. Now there's also some rules for declaring variables. So the name of the variable must only contain letters, digits, or the symbols dollar sign and underscore. So contain only letters, digits, or the symbols dollar sign and underscore. Any other characters will be considered invalid as a variable name. Also, the first character of the variable name must not be a digit. Now, the variable names dollar sign and underscore would actually be considered valid variable names. So we could say let dollar sign equals five, let underscore equals 10. And those would be considered valid variable names. So if we do something like alert dollar sign plus underscore, we should get 15, which is the sum of five and 10. So if we now view this in the browser, we're gonna get our first message box and then the second one, which is 15. So those variable names worked. Okay, so an example of an incorrect variable name would be let one A, because it starts with a digit. Another example could be clever dash tacky. The dash is not allowed because only symbols, dollar sign and underscore are allowed in a variable name. So I'm gonna go ahead and comment these out as just an example of incorrect variable names. Now the variable names in international characters are allowed. So I'm gonna go ahead and declare a variable name in Russian here which means country, and I'm gonna assign a value to it, Russia. So this is valid, but this is not recommended because most people that program understand English and English is the international language. And so even though international names are allowed, it's not recommended. There are also some reserved keywords in JavaScript that we cannot use as our variable names. And these reserved names are let 
class, return, and function. So we cannot name our variable names let class return and function. We could also create a variable and assign a value to it right away without using the let keyword. And this is going to work. We say number equals three, for example. But this is only going to work in a non-strict mode. So if we actually set it to strict mode, then this is not going to work. So this is a shorthand way of creating and assigning a value to the variable, but it's not recommended. So always try to use let keyword and then assign a value to the variable. Okay, so a variable is named a variable because its value can vary at any time during the program. So we can change our planet variable to something else. We can change name to something else. We can change job. So just remember that the variables are very flexible and the variable's value can and does change throughout the program. Now the constants, on the other hand, are variables whose value never changes. So they behave just like variables, but their value always remains constant. And the way we declare a constant in JavaScript is by using a const keyword. So now we have declared a constant named truth, and its value is love, which will never change. And if we try to change the value of truth to something else, this is invalid because the value of a constant never changes. And the constants are very useful when we have a complicated value that's not easy to memorize and the value never changes. For example, in the case of hexadecimal colors, we can create a constant named color blue and then the hexadecimal value for the color blue is hashtag 0000FF. So then the color underscore blue is a lot easier to remember and refer to than this long value here. So we can create another constant color red, for example, and assign its hexadecimal value. We create another one, color green which hexadecimals value is 00FF00. So this would be a very good example of where we would use constants. Okay, before we wrap this up, I'm gonna give you guys a few suggestions on the good practice for naming your variables. So always try to use human readable names and stay away from abbreviations like ABC and the other shorthand versions of a variable name and try to make your variable names as descriptive as possible that describe what you're actually trying to do with a variable name. And that's it for this JavaScript variables tutorial. If you guys liked it, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.